impacts HIV AIDS transmission in Africa. Professor Sheila Klau is the director of the UNAIDS Regional Support Team for Eastern and Southern Africa and recently received an honorary doctorate of humane letters from the Dillard University alongside American First Lady Michelle Obama. She joins us now in studio to tell us about her work and uh, what the honor means to her. Yeah. I'm, I'm not sure I'm going to ask you what it means to you because you must be, you must be completely elated by that. Oh, I, 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 I am. Uh, this is not the first uh, doctorate I've received yeah. or the first honor. I mean, I've been doing quite a lot throughout my life. But this one is really special to me in that it was given by uh, my alma mater. This is the university I went to for my undergraduate degree. Oh, wow. So to be recognized by one of your own is yes. simply saying almost like this is my beloved daughter in whom I'm <laughs> well pleased. I'm pleased. Yes. So it was really great. Now the, to the icing on top of the cake, of course, was to be given that at the same time as the world's first lady is getting it. So it was really great. The, the, the atmosphere, you know, the, the university was graduating about 1,000, 2,000, no, about 1,500 students. Yes. But there were more than 20,000 people in the auditorium. Why? Because they had come to see Michelle Obama yes. in New Orleans. Oh, so wow. it was really great, and yes, an it was just an electric atmosphere. You it must was, have yeah. basked in that glory, it, it, and it, deservedly it was great. so. Oh, yeah, I, I basked I mean, in that glory, because oh, I was the only one from Africa. I am so So it was glad. like, oh, oh okay, I mean, and the Africans, they were very happy to see me. Your life's yes. work has been dedicated to this, yeah. and, and I mean, you've been doing such incredible, incredible yes. work. Why? What, what makes you feel so passionate? What drives you? Well, I've been in this field since 1985, and um, 85, I, the very first case that was diagnosed in Botswana, I thought, well, you know, I'm doing aging. At that time, my PhD was in, in, in aging. The, in fact, my, my thesis was, it was on the experience of menopause yeah. among Botswana women. Then I figured if this thing is going to be killing women the, day, the way it's doing now in Uganda, it means women are never going to reach menopause. So why bother with menopause and aging? Let me go and do something to ensure that women go there. And I thought it would be over in five, ten years. Mm. I didn't know that as a young woman, I'll be in there now as an older woman, I'm still there. But at least now later. I'm seeing a light at the yes. end of the tunnel and it's definitely not an oncoming train. Yeah, that's, yes. that, that's yes. incredible. Uh, yeah. I, I, one thing I need to ask you, and, and, and perhaps I'm asking on behalf of a lot of viewers as well, yes. what is the background in the Honorary Doctorate of Humane Letters? Yes. What, what exactly is that? What's the significance it, of it? It's really a recognition. It's not monetary. It's just uh, you know, that certificate. I'm sure you, you've seen it. It's, it's huge. It's a huge certificate. We can but see it, it there. is simply saying we recognize the work that you've been doing, not just for your country, but for Africa and for the world. Mm. So it's just a recognition of the, you know, the work that you've done. Yeah. And uh, you know, it's given uh, by universities because they can't give you a PhD since you are not a student. They're really saying you have been a student of the world all these years and we're recognizing that. You, yes. you know, the fight against HIV has been around for many, many years. It's, yes. it's, it's a, you know, it, it is gaining momentum. We are yeah. seeing some results, but I can yeah. imagine that it is a, it's, it's, a difficult, it's a difficult place to be because as much as we, mm. we want to move faster, we need medical science and education and our people to yes. understand. Is the message getting out there? Is the situation getting better? You know, it's a difficult place to be, but not quite as difficult as before. You know, having been in the field since 1985, I've seen a disease where being diagnosed meant you're going to die. Yeah. To a disease where the Western world had discovered treatment, but we're saying it can never be implemented in Africa because uh, Africans don't even know how to tell the time. So this thing has to be taken like this, like this. And so that when I became a minister in, 19, in 2004 of Botswana, I made sure that I proved the Western world wrong. Mm. to say yes, even in resource limited settings, we can save the lives of our people. So that I was really, Botswana was one of the first countries to roll out ERVs to people. And as a minister, I then took over and ensured that within four years, 90% of Botswana were receiving ERVs. Nice. And I was able to see the transformation where we are attending now fewer funerals, where more babies were born without HIV. And I thought, okay, now this, this is something that we can devote ourselves to. So that now, 
in Eastern and Southern Africa, which is the, 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 the region that is most affected, yeah. and that's the region I'm responsible for. That's 21 countries. I've actually, within the past four years of me as the regional director, seen a real decrease in new infections, a decrease in deaths, more people on ARVs, so that I know we can do it. So it's now a question of really garnering international support and making sure that the African Union does what they want to do, especially the shared uh, responsibility and global solidarity thing by putting more money into the AIDS response and really ensuring that children are born HIV negative. I think we will get there. Yeah. Yes. Um, you, you speak about Botswana. Just, just finally, if I can get your opinion on South Africa and how we are mm. doing. I mean, at yeah. one point, South Africa, um, I yes. think we were, we were frowned upon by the rest of the world for the way we treated the HIV AIDS situation. That's now, true. How do you think our policies are, are stacking up? Yes, when I was Minister of Health, I was very frustrated yeah. with, frust with, with South Africa because at the time when we were rolling out ARVs and really showing that they are working, South Africa was still on beetroot and garlic. But now it's picked up and it is really the showcase of the world because South Africa is a big country. Yeah. And even as a minister, I knew that Botswana would not have that much impact because it's a small country. The impact would be felt if South Africa did it, the rest of Africa would then follow. And that's exactly what is happening now. You know, South Africa has more people in ARVs proportionally than any other country in the world. So that we, are over, we have over 2 million people on ARVs. And I'm sure even in communities, yeah. they have seen deaths go down. Uh, South Africa brought down mother-to-child transmission, the rate, to less than 2%. And so to us at UNA, it simply means our vision of zero new HIV infections, zero discrimination, and zero AIDS-related deaths is being realized. Yeah. So yeah. it is a model country now, and I'm glad that the regional office that is in charge of 21 countries is right here at Fantastic. the epicenter because then I'm able to really be able to, to connect to the ministers and say, talk to Minister Muzwalid, he can be able to see how he helps me with this. And it, I think it, he's it, done a it feels fabulous great. job. But yes. listen, he's this, is about, good job. this is about you and what yes. a great job you've done. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you very much. We are much. so happy for you and proud yeah. of you on receiving your honorary yes. doctorate. Uh, this, of course, was the director of the UN AIDS Regional Support Team for Eastern and Southern Africa, Professor Sheila Tlau, who received recently on the 10th of May an honorary doctorate of humane letters from the Dillard University alongside American First Lady, Michelle Obama. Is she as nice as we think she is? She's very nice. Good. But okay. she has too much security. <laughs> so, so you couldn't get okay. to... You, you could only greet her, take a picture with her, and that was it. And that was the end yes. of that. Okay. All right. There you go. Thank you so much Thank for being much. with us here on the program. Let's take a break. We'll see you after this.